This week on Media Delta, Sonic Christmas Blast. And folks, you can get out your YouTube and watch along. We're doing this one live. Hello and welcome to a special episode of Media Delta. Um, it is special because we are recording this on Christmas Eve. And uh, we got a special thing for you today um, because technically this is part of something we've already watched. Uh, we're, we we kind of felt like we had to do a Christmas special for, you know, the one that technically this is coming out after Christmas, but whatever. Um, uh, we're doing time. Sonic Christmas Blast today. Uh, it's a real which, blast from the past. Which is an episode of The Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog that came out like three years after the series ended. Um, and... It is a single episode, which is 20 minutes long. So we're going to try something new on um, this time. We're going to watch this live and then we're going to rank it after. Um, so the way that we're doing this is we have. Um, thankfully, this is available on YouTube. Actually, uh, there is a channel that's just called the Adventure Song the Hedgehog that has this. Uh, it is. Title the title of the video is just Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog the line Sonic Christmas Blast. It is 20 minutes and 38 seconds. Uh that if what you want to do, if you want to watch this along with us, this is also going to be our live reactions to this. Um, you can watch along. I will tell you when the video starts, and you can watch along with us. So 20 minutes uh, and 38 seconds of your fucking life you'll never get back. It's like yeah. a <laughs> shittier version of Rift Tracks, but with a yeah. ranking at the end. Which actually reminds me, we should probably introduce ourselves. So, um, uh, who all do I have with me? Hi, I'm Axe, and I'm spinning in to win it. I'm Bob Nader, and somehow this was a uh, yearly tradition for a long time, so I'm looking forward to seeing how these people tear to shreds. I'm way past Coolio, and I'm full of juice for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> that was that was pretty fucking good. <laughs> I'm Torpotypist. I'm here to see large companies milk literally fucking anything for Christmas money. Move, move, motherfucker. All right. So, um, I will give the countdown for when we can start this. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, is great because I have no idea how this is gonna work. So, it's gonna um, be great. Cross your fingers. I think I think when I when I say one, it's gonna take like a second or two. So we're using this we're using something called SciTube to kind of all watch this except for uh Goyo has a weird internet situation, so they have a local <laughs> recording. So we're we're gonna see how well this is gonna work to <laughs> think this up. Uh so I think what's gonna happen is when I click to add, uh it's gonna take like a second or two to get started. So um when you uh hear me say go. Wait like a second and then hit start. So we're going to go ahead and get this going. So we're going to go. I'm going to say five, five and then go start on go. So five, four, three, two, one, play. You said play, not go. You fucked it up. My, I look forward to my knee not being the only thing in pain here. Okay. Oh, wow. I. I don't think even bothered the original animation for this. I'm pretty sure this is from the actual episode. Always a good sign. Ah, uh, there's all the Mountain King. Glad, yep. glad to have that back. So, fun fact: this uh, episode was animated by a completely different animators than the rest of the show. This is TMS, I think. Uh, it Mostly shows. known for Animaniacs, and I think a few other shows. Yeah, oh, TMS did a lot. And you can tell because the animation is frankly a whole lot better in this episode. Yeah, this actually looks somewhat confident. So, we, is Sonic Superman or something? Is he turning back time? I think he's just rushing around to do Christmassy stuff. Or blowing everybody up. You know, I'm surprised that Robotnik didn't have an ass crack in that shot. We didn't get some sweet <laughs> no, they Robotnik wanted ass to. yet. Maybe it's just about my expectations for this show. <laughs> Juicy Robotnik buns. Actually, are those different soon. writers, too? I, I want to say Bruce Shelley sounds familiar. Oh, they've probably been like a ton of shows that no one remembers. I didn't look their IMDb or turn something. This up. 
Is that one of the Eds from Ed and, Ed and Eddie? Looks more like something from Hey Arnold to me, but I don't know. Oh, it's a robot. No, you, you don't. Look, fucking Santa's done so much fucking cocaine. <laughs> you I, I thought you were going to say he's done so much work. He went in like in the David Lee Roth direction. Look, I was going to say cocaine or meth. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> cocaine meth. Oh, no. Super cocaine. Super cocaine for the Santa. Chittering all over the place like he's just injected himself with five caffeines. <laughs> five whole caffeines. <laughs> Look, I had a friend who was so addicted. Oh, Jesus no, Christ. He is just filling out that suit. Mm -hmm. Remember, Oof. he's animation's sexiest fat man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How is he a larger than Santa Claus himself? With, with practice. Did, did his fucking suit shrink in the wash or something? Like, Robotnik should not be wearing a crop top is all I'm saying. <laughs> You should be wearing a tube top, you're correct. Why is Grounder or why is Scratch wearing a kilt? Why not? Is it a kilt or is it a cheerleader's uniform? Yeah. I assume it's a skirt, but Yeah, they're cheerleaders. Oh, okay. That makes more sense now that I <laughs> <laughs> <It's> <laughs> very... just just what? randomly put a kilt on us uh, on Scratch. Look, it's this show. Okay, I was just wondering what was going on with okay. Grounder's belly, but Look! You know, look whatever. at his look at his shoe though. He's got a toe sticking out through one of the boots. <laughs> I think I think his shirt is shrinking further. I thought the name of that shirt was Stabby's at first. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome I'm to Stabby's. Sorry. I, I'm sorry. I like the line "No mothers on Santa's lap" because Robotnik is a fucking coward. <laughs> He's so weirdly drawn. It's, it's he looks just... like an Animaniacs character, doesn't he? It, it does. is. It is super uncomfortable to look at. Yeah. <laughs> this child has no experience at Mall Santa's, does he? <laughs> Are none well, of the parents seeing this? That kid's getting roboticized. It's Sally Acorn. Sa Sally, that's just a look. You know, I forgot for a half. I forgot that actually it was Jaleel White. <laughs> I'll be honest; it's still very hard for me not read Sonic and Jaleel White's voice. It's fair. See, I just do it in Roger Craig Smith's voice at this point. Yeah. Either or. It makes playing Apex Legends really fucking awkward. <laughs> Who is he in Resident Evil? Uh, he was Chris Redfield. He's Chris Redfield? Okay. What a huge bitch, am I right, guys? <laughs> can't live Fucking with him, women. can't live without him. Fucking women, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm still this... confused as to why Sally Acorn is involved in this at all. That's a real no lies. Lies. She has no lies. <laughs> they couldn't afford Cat Susie. What is, what is this? Why is Roger I... from uh, Doug here? You say that because because he just looks like the cheat made into a man to me. <laughs> I was going to say, who is this random Simpsons character, but... Actually, you... hold on. I'm actually He's curious clean. about something. Yeah, actually, Calf Susie might have been busy doing Space Jam at this point. <laughs> ah. <laughs> what a shame he could, couldn't get to work on this. Actually, let's, let's go watch. Let's go watch Space Jam instead. But I can't believe those two were communicating Wait, in we, the language of the gods. Did we do Space Jam yet? 
we have. So yeah. Space gotta, Jam is. We, we got to do I, a Space Jam told. next. Not next, but we got to do that soon. Look, every so often, I remind Lolo of it. We got to do it because the new one's coming out. It'll be all over Space Jam. Let me get what on is that. This off brand robot master. <laughs> I'd rather be watching Space Jam than this, to be quite honest. It's not a very high bar. <laughs> Space Jam is at least fun for the most part. Okay, we it's have to really... do it by July 16th. Okay. Oh, God, it's that soon? Wow. Yeah. Also, why does he sound like Tails? I... It's not the same voice actor, actually, according to IMDb. Just... So, there's the elephant in the room. Like, why are there just humans now? Because I'm pretty sure they weren't a thing except for Robotnik in the original <laughs> show. There was the the sales keep guy was kind of a human. Oh no. yeah, I guess okay, you're right, kid, man. The the kid sounds like Sonic Adventure Tales. It does actually. Now that I think about it. Okay, so if I'm gathering from what little I'm cobbling together of this between us talking, Santa's retired and has left Robotnik in charge. It yeah. wasn't even for Santa that retired, it was Robot Santa, because <laughs> obviously Robotnik's kidnapped Santa or some shit. Oh wait, no, there's Robotic, robotic Santa. Yeah. He's here to deliver weapons to all the children. He, wasn't he built by Dr. Wily? Why are they Is telling he... him his pl their plan? I don't fucking know. Every bad guy does it. I love his laugh. It's and I I unironically love Scratch's laugh. That was a good face. I'm just imagining Jaleel White saying like because I know it's him doing it, but I'm just imagining him in the booth saying these lines with just the absolute sincerity i mean this actually i'm curious because i know he was doing other voice work i was just thinking of what remember that time he was in that really weird fan movie the one that had the nostalgia critic in it oh yeah yeah we gotta do that one too if we don't we don't <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to do anything with the nostalgia critic in it we can avoid all of that God, family Matters was still going on when this was recorded. <laughs> I forgot that Family Matters went on until 98. How many seasons was it? A lot. Um, God, that show jumped the shark so hard. Uh, nine. Eh, it's not that bad. I wouldn't have been surprised if Urkel had built a machine to turn him into Sonic. <laughs> I can imagine actually happening. There are nearly enough uh, kinks in this episode. <laughs> yeah. I'm just ashamed that he's not picking up the garbage he left on the ground. Sonic is just, a terrible influence. Torpid just standing on the side of the road, a single tear falls out of his eye. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, me, an Italian man posing as a native Indian. <laughs> Why are there so many chimneys? Jesus. Maybe he's trying to attract the actual Santa. <clears throat> it's It's true. Chimneys are like fucking catnip for Santa. <laughs> but do the chimneys even go anywhere? No, they don't have them do. They don't have to. They they just need to get Santa in them. Also, why is he hanging with a green M and M? I thought it was a legume. It says more about what I think. Why oh, did there's, I just there's give good him old the five Yep. Perfect butt on ground and ground. No, they, they they deleted his ass. <laughs> well, for for one brief shining moment, that was a shiny metal ass. We've had our first ass glimpse. He 
Is it just me or is there like little tiny hairs on his stomach as well? There are. Oh, yeah. yeah. There are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he is bizarrely detailed. Wait, Tails has clothes? I guess so. He just chooses not to wear them? Yeah, is this just like trying to be like Sadam Plus adventures? If those are swap bots? You know, I don't know how I feel about this being better animated. I feel it actually kind of loses something with being somewhat competently animated. Oh wait, they're on they're on the ice? I guess. It looked like snow. Was... Yeah. Well, that worked. Wait. That worked. Apparently. Yeah. What did that accomplish? I don't know. It killed all the swap bots because they shot each other. Wow, Torpid, you called it. Who would have thought that he had captured Santa the entire time? <laughs> Ho. Ho cubed. So he could have just like robbed a mall instead. It's way less involved. No, but see that that way doesn't involve a lot of chimneys. So I looked up the guy who voiced the Santa Claus. In, you know, you can kind of read a lot about a guy's career when you see what they're known. The four movies that IMDb thinks you're known for, uh, and one of them being House of the Dead. Oh no, the oh. Uwe Boll one. Yes. Oh uh, no. He, he was also in the wa He was also in Watchmen, apparently. Wow. How do you go yeah. from fucking Uwe Boll to Watchmen? Uh paycheck. And was was he what like an extra? In uh, he was newsvendor. Mm. So yes. And he was captain in House of the Dead. So is it just me, or is it like every single one of these Christmas specials is, oh no, something bad happened to Santa, Christmas is ruined, yeah. but yeah. the hero comes by and Christmas is saved. Yeah, it's almost like there's a formula for this kind of thing. <laughs> I mean, also, the I thing. love the secret Santa cavern with deep Santa lore <laughs> written upon the walls in the mystic ring. To access it all. This decoder ring will help us get out. Drink your Ovaltine. <laughs> and it opens. I mean, this is basically how gummy bears started. Oh, do they have a gummy bears game? I don't know. There is some... I think there is a gummy bears related game, but not related to the cartoon. But there, there have been worse links between video games and, like media than that. Disney's Adventures of the Gummy Bears. Yeah, I just found that now. Uh, okay, all right, the there Bangor we go. Revolution. <laughs> what I, the I appreciate that Sonic has to do the, the trials of Christmas to, true, to truly prove that he's got the Christmas spirit. Why can't he just help a kid whose mom got cancer? Uh, fuck him. That's why. <laughs> Never, never. I actually have to watch that again. It's my tradition. Every year I watch that shitty movie. Which movie? The oh, Christmas, the Christmas shoes. shoes. Yeah. See, I, I have a much better tradition of watching Jingle All the Way instead. That's also, that's also a good there, one. There was someone who made, because apparently Uncut Gems was directed by the same person who did um, Jingle All the Way. And someone recut the trailers for it so that it was the audio from Uncut Gems and didn't go all the way. And apparently it fit perfectly. <laughs> you know, that just reminds me of the, uh, the, the classic, the like, syncing up Dark Side of the Moon to Wizard of Oz. I've done yeah. it, and it works. And it's you can weird. Also, you can also do Electric Light Gorgeous throws uh, El Dorado. 
or for the really? dog. Uh, if you take out one track. Ah. Uh, it's just, it's eerie how, how well uh, Dark Side of the Moon syncs up. It's, it's just bizarre. So is this whole sequence what they were thinking of when they designed that one part of Sonic 06? Sure. Sonic See, the BMX fish, trial. Not work in this either. They don't need to. It's Sonic. And of course, Hall the Mountain King again. Yeah. Mixed with Christmas music, which is actually. I just like the idea that they think the Hall of the Mount in the Hall of the Mountain King is is basically the theme for Sonic, when it's not. <laughs> I mean, it's fitting, kind of. I guess, kind of. Especially this one, it has it, it kind of matches the fucking manic energy of this shitty series. No, manic is in Sonic Underground. Fuck, you're right. I have watched way too much of that. Also, did the lighting just really go to shit right there? Yeah, it's dark out. You see, it's almost night. Meanwhile, in this night for a night scene. Ass. Yeah, I was gonna say, really surprised there was no ass crack right there. Robot. Nick. There was. He had a very defined ass. I'm just surprised oh, they haven't yeah. given him like a plumber skin. Okay. There we go. Okay, but those look bigger than his actual pants. Did he just lose weight? He also uh waxed. I think Sonic waxed him. Honestly. Sonic is very good in, in that way. He, he'll help you lose weight and he'll get rid of all the unwanted body hair. <laughs> Thanks, Santa. I like how this kid gets like, it's so important that he gets his own lines and everything. So he, no, he looks like um he looks like the kid from Animaniacs that tells the story about Randy Beeman. Also. If you kill Santa, do you be, or do you kill Sonic? Do you become Sonic? Hmm. I try not to think too hard about it. Okay, but it's real fucked up that he's taking Santa's presents and claiming them as his own for her. He didn't <laughs> actually get her anything. <laughs> Just shove that box directly back into her face. Sally was gonna get those gifts regardless from Santa. <laughs> it's real fucked up. It's it's like swat like it's it's like being at, at a a fucking a baby shower or or like fucking wedding stuff and just taking the labels and swapping them so your present is better. <laughs> Sounds like something you've done. <laughs> I <laughs> you would say never <laughs> go to that kind of thing. <laughs> I just like the way you said it with just such. Such like Maybe it's uh, something I've heard that people do. Yeah, it's a thing really? people do. Yes. Yeah. Really? Really shitty people do that. Like if what? they didn't bring a gift, they will swap a label. That's so fucked up. <laughs> so I figure like I don't know what all else we have to do because we literally just watched it. <laughs> we probably gave our thoughts while watching it. Um It was better but... animated than yeah, let, the let's series. Just, yeah, I was gonna say we could just do our round normal round robin thing. Yeah. Uh so uh Axe, how what do you think about it? Uh, uh all right. So I mean we're, we're riffing on it and kinda I think over exaggerating a little. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't the worst thing we've watched. Uh, um it definitely kept the same energy that the show had for better and worse. Uh better animated for sure. Uh, pretty good team they had uh, working on this one. Um, felt like they they didn't have a whole lot to work with though, because it just kind of like I, like I said, I was surprised that it ended because I, it, it was built up and built up and built up, and then it just resolved without any effort at all. Um, just I don't know. It's it I'm very mixed on it because it's not terrible and certainly not as bad as the the series was uh, even though I still enjoyed the series but at the same time it's also not good because it's just stuff happens 
<laughs> um, and I'm gonna close out side tube so I don't see the shit eating uh, <laughs> face anymore because it's just bothering the absolute crap out of me now. Um, yeah, no, that's that's kind of my thoughts on it. It's more more Jaleel White Sonic with the the Sonic Adventures, you know, themes and all that, but in a Christmas special. That's what I've got. Uh, Bob. Well, <clears throat> I guess it's, I think a big part of why I think it might be a little better is the animation. It's pretty good animation, not like fantastic, but I guess just a lot smoother and, you know, a little bit more on model than the rest of the show had. As far as the, as the rest of it, I don't really know. It's kind of just a typical Adventure Sonic Hedgehog episode, despite the theme. It, you know, doesn't really have any, like, real morals like you'd expect from your average Christmas special, which I guess is a plus, but it's just kind of more of the same, I guess, more than anything, except the weird parts that they don't really... that don't really fit the rest of the series. Sonic says, don't give Santa edibles. <laughs> Super cocaine. Don't let Santa... Don't don't put Santa in a tumble dryer. Nobody <laughs> nobody puts Santa in a tumble dryer. Santa goes big bro. I was going for uh I was going for dirty dancing there. I don't know if anybody caught that. I'm stuck and I can't get out. <laughs> Does that make sense for what I'm saying? It just feels like more of the same. Oh yeah. yeah. No, one hundred percent, yeah. Yeah. Um Yeah. 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 Uh, cool. Um so I wasn't there for the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog thing, and I haven't watched Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog since I was a kid. Uh, but going from what you guys were saying during that episode, it just felt like it was completely madcap and very fetishy and just <laughs> all, you know, all kinds of crap like that. This looks better. Uh, than than what I kind of remember and what I see from the screenshot that was posted to uh, to our <laughs> podcast chat. <laughs> but um, other than that, it didn't really have any teeth. It, it's just another one of those stories that's like, like I was saying, something bad happened to Santa, but here's the hero to save the day and save Christmas. It's, it's been done a hundred times and other than that, it's like doesn't really have much of an identity. Like half an hour from now, I'm not going to remember anything from this. That's about what I got to say. I mean, I will say at least it's, you know, the standard, you know, action comedy, like the rest of the show is, and it's not like, you know, finding out the miracle of Christmas or, you know, finding presents for people. except that one little side plot that goes nowhere, you know? I mean, it's about finding that you're the chosen one of Christmas. So is, is it going to be anything like the Santa Claus where Sonic grows a beard and becomes large? I mean, that yeah, happened no. in the show, but that was just because the show was weird. Yeah. People were really working out their... Uh, <laughs> they were working out some of their uh, deep-seated interests through that show. Apparently... But I I never watched it in that lens, so I wouldn't know. Blame Milton Knight. He was horny on May, and he was not afraid of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. He wasn't involved with this he's, movie. He was very varied in his horny interests. Thirst Master Supreme. Jesus. Um. All right, uh, Torpo. Uh, so you, you were saying how it kind of married uh, bits of adventures and bitch, bits of Saddam, and one of the things it clearly took from Saddam was the fucking boringness. <laughs> like, like it, there was a lot of weird stuff, but overall it was actually kind of tame and, uh, in my opinion, not that interesting, and that just kind of ended. Like, yeah, I know we were ripping into it the entire time, but legitimately I just wasn't invested because I wasn't that interested. It was kind of just there. Also... They just had Sally there, but not saying anything. And it felt really <laughs> weird. It's real it, fucked look, up. It just, at that point, it just felt like like lip service or just yeah. shitty fans. I mean, service, that's yeah. pretty much what it was. More like yeah. lipless service. Oh. And, you know, it didn't even really need to be Sally. It could have been any other character. It could have been and... breezy. Mm-hmm. Well, it, was Amy... it, 
It could have been Tails. Then again, it wouldn't have been Amy because... Yeah, because Tails didn't do shit yeah. at all. Tails mostly complained on the sled about not wearing clothes, despite never wearing clothes. It just all, it, it was, it was, kind of, it, was an ex, it was an experience, and one that I don't feel like I'd ever have to re-experience ever yeah, again. I just thought it was kind of boring, personally. Yeah, like as much as I bitched about uh, son, like like the 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 actual original uh, series, shit happened a lot, and I was confused. And scared, <laughs> definitely not aroused. <laughs> <laughs> but I was worried. But this had none of that. Like it had, like it didn't stop moving, but it didn't have the same energy. And, and I was, guess that's kind of my issue. It was definitely less madcap than the than the series was. Like it looked better, but that's kind of all it had going for it. It didn't really have a lot of heart to it, like. It didn't really feel like a Christmas episode, except Santa happened to be in it, you know? Yeah. Like, uh, you a know, a lot of Christmas stuff doesn't have much heart in it. Yeah, that is true. Also, the, I mean, the Santa be the, the the Sonic being the chosen one for Christmas was the weirdest subplot. Because <laughs> it felt like it came out of nowhere and just also went nowhere. Yeah, like he 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 has this Dakota ring on his on his finger, that and then Sally. yeah, and that proves that he's the one that that can save whatever. I I that it makes no sense. It makes no sense. It was very stupid. So like, oh shit, we we need twenty minutes of of Sonic. Oh fuck, what do we do? But I, I do appreciate that it didn't. I do appreciate that it didn't have. Any any morals to it? Any any stupid like you know, tis the season kind of crap. It was just no Robotnik's being a shit. Yeah. Sonic's gonna stop him. I like how it's not like a lot of Christmas specials where like Robotnik then just turn magically good at the end because yes. the power Christmas or something. Mm. Yes, he's just a dick the whole way through, just like you'd expect him to be. Yeah, Either, nobody learned any lessons here. Nobody, not yeah. even Sonic, who fucking took gifts from Santa that were meant for Sally and just claimed they were from him. And then gave her a kiss on the forehead and then shoved her back into the pile of presents and told her to go <laughs> fuck herself. Yeah, basically. Back back to presents, too. <laughs> Fucking women, am I right? <laughs> can't live with him, can't live without him. Oh, man. Yep. I do love that all fucking Sonic did was talk mad shit about Sally. <laughs> All, all, all I can think of is that uh, that dumb meme about serial killers and women. It's, it's easy to be a serial killer to catch women because bitches always be tripping Jesus over nothing. Christ. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See, I was just imagining Sonic saying, take my wife. <laughs> <laughs> take my wife, please. Please. <laughs> The old ball and chain, because that no, nothing says you love your spouse more than comparing them to a dead weight. Nothing says you love your spouse, like curling up into a ball and crying if she gets married to someone else. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate cuck. Oh dear. All right. I, th I think this. I think this conversation is becoming fetishy because the cartoon wasn't. We're making Fair up enough. for what was lacking. I was just talking about Ken Penders. <laughs> oh. Right. Okay. Can we not talk uh, about I will go then? ahead and we... just say that I thought that this was also very boring because it didn't have any of the weird quirks of the, the adventure show. Yeah, um, it's, it's weird. It's... Like, yeah, you don't like them in the moment, but you kind of miss them when they're gone. Yeah. yeah. It's like too normal, and you, you don't want normal from a show like this. Which kind of it's frustrating because we we dinged adventures pretty hard for for its stuff and. It it feels a little unfair to to ding this for not having more adventures based stuff, but it could have had at least a little bit. It didn't have to go the whole way in. It didn't have to give us you know Sonic and diapers again. Well, there, there, wasn't, there weren't as many feed shots, right? Say say what you will, but like Sonic, like uh, uh, that show had a, a certain energy to it, and in in just. It was very unique in its own incredibly weird way, and you do kind of miss that personality when it's gone. Yeah. Yeah, the Sonic Christmas Blast was never going to get very high on the rank, uh, but um, it it might have 
It might it might have been good to be able to rank it six six six, but I don't think it's going to I, go there. I think I we could rank it a normal number. To yeah. be honest, it doesn't have yeah. it doesn't have anything of what Adventures had, and it's it's very it's a very paint by numbers cartoon. Yeah, maybe twenty twenty feels right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So like, well, first off, we're gonna do this the, the normal. Uh, okay, we, have, we have a system here, damn it! <laughs> I was just saying, we have yet to get into the ring part, but uh, I think that's... So, sorry, for, right now. sorry for kind of breaking into that. Uh, I, it's, really it's already quick. a weird episode anyway, so... <laughs> okay, really quick, I will say, like, the adventure of Sonic the Hedgehog had a personality all its own, and as much as I bitch about it, it definitely is what made it unique, and this lacks that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, so I guess we are ready to rank this. So um, we're going to rank this using our normal one to twenty-one scale, uh, where one is considered absolute mastercraft, uh, very like pinnacle of the genre, or just really good in general. Up to twenty-one, which is unironically like painful to watch. Uh, like no, I even ironic fun to get out of it. So X, uh, what number would you give this? I mean, it's not the worst thing we've watched, and I've said this before, and we've we've got a it's a very tough one to call. I wouldn't say this is a terrible terrible thing to watch. It really isn't. Um it's fairly average. Um but it's also not very good either. So I'm waffling on this, but I I, I kind of feel comfortable sitting in at like a sixteen. All right. Uh Bob. You know, at first, I was saying 20, but I feel like on second thought, that might be kind of harsh. I think maybe 16 is right, too. I, I'm i hovering between 16 and 19 where Sadam is. I feel this might be about equal to Sadam for me. All right. Let's, yeah, let me go to 19, maybe. Okay. Uh, we can put you at a range between 16 and 19. Um, cool, yo. If this gets higher than Sonic Saddam, I'm going to be very angry <laughs> very soon. Uh, 20. So 20? Uh, 12. <laughs> See, uh, I'm, I'm with Bob in that I, I think it is on the level of Sonic Saddam. It's about that level of uninteresting. All right. So 19 as well? Yeah. Okay. Um. I would say that 19 is a good spot for it. Um, mainly because the thing that I was thinking uh, was actually probably 15. Because maybe like any really, if anyone's like my range is actually like 15 to 19, like 15 to 19. I don't think it's quite 20 range. Um, it's not nearly as bad as like Doom or Panzer Dragoon uh, because it was actually kind of competent it just was not that interesting um the thing is is that i would almost rather watch it over that princess peach one or the sonic uh, or not sonic uh the mario ova uh because that was also just kind of boring and things just happened it, but also that was like an hour and a half with weird musical numbers whereas this was just 20 minutes long um but yeah i can definitely see this being 19 yeah, okay, I, I do understand. I do agree that's, like, mercifully short, at the very yeah. least. I mean, the th its greatest sin is that it's boring. That, that's, that's, that's the worst that, that we got out of this. Yeah. Yeah, um, and it's ju just the fact that, like, things that I can see being, like, 18, 19, 20 around there are things that you're going to watch, and then you're not going to remember a damn thing from it. Because it was just not engaging. I was going to say, there are things about 20, like Doom. There are things about Doom that I remember, namely because they're really stupid. But like Panzer Dragoon, I don't remember at all. I remember Panzer Dragoon uh, in bits and pieces. And it was very, it was, it was, sh I think it was, sh I think it was short. It was, it was 45 minutes long. It was, it was short and like just nothing really happened other than that one dude pointlessly got murdered. Doom, Doom, I mostly forget because it was just fucking forgettable. It was just two hours of boring. Except yeah. for that one first person segment. Yes, <laughs> the only good part of the damn movie. And everything else is a fucking slog. Yeah. I will say one thing about the Doom movie. 
getting Carl Urban as the Doom guy was really good casting. That's perfect. It, it is a yeah. pretty inspired choice. I mean, I actually was writing uh, my own uh, treatment of of Doom as a as a film adaptation. And immediately thought of Carl Urban for the for now, the main role. So yeah, it's, I'm going off topic, but you know what you'd have to do to make an accurate Doom movie. You would have to make like the Doom comic into a movie and have it run for like an hour and a half. And I don't know if anybody wants that. Maybe not, but Hardcore Henry exists. <laughs> yeah. It is the most video game ass movie I've ever watched. I got I got motion sick just looking at the 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 um You the trailer. The tra- yes, thank you. Fucking words. Trailer. You, you I, too I, I can, understand you... You too can watch a man get his nuts crushed in first person. <laughs> Among many, many things. But are we are we really gonna say because are we gonna say then that this is worse than the Super Mario Brothers OBA? Since that's sitting at eighteen and uh, Sonic Sad Am's at nineteen. I will agree, See, but strictly because this is shorter. To, the thing the thing also is is that uh, as I'm kind of going through, I am actually kind of somewhat thinking that we kind of lowballed Sadam. Yes, I, you did. <laughs> I was Leo just burst the fuck up. <laughs> miserably bored during Sadam. I was bored I in fucking for, tears. I feel I like. Think, hmm, sorry. Ahead. No, go ahead. I think the license really held Sadam back. It really would have been better as his own thing. And I. It, I it's an okay cartoon, but a really bad Sonic cartoon. I'm done now. Okay. Um, I, I don't know. I feel like if something's really, like, ultra boring, I don't know if that's really enough to, launch, to, to land it so far down on the list. Like, just, just because if we take a look at, at, at stuff that's really bad, I mean, really fucking bad. Like, let's go back to uh, Megami Tensei. That was fucking atrocious. That was miserable on every conceivable level. And we're saying that uh, this is only two, two, two tiers lower, lower than that. Or two tiers better than that, rather. Okay, so my I, I don't agree with that. If something is so miserably boring, why watch it? I mean, that's yeah, but... kind of a hard drop between 20 and 21. Yeah, it's... A, there is a weird kind of thing, like, it's, like... The thing is, is that media is like something that you watch is weird because it, it's you don't experience it in the same uh, you don't experience it Let's in the same way as um, like you play a video game where a video game, I feel, is a lot more granular. Uh, in, like with different experiences, uh, I'm starting to realize that there's there needs to be like this weird like anything like super boring should be along in a certain tier. But that is also a discussion for a later date. Maybe, say, like next week's episode. <laughs> yes. Um, the most contentious fucking episode. And, and also, also four hours long. This is gonna make this this is gonna make this more annoying. I like this more than Adventures of Lolo the Penguin. Like yeah, I would rather fair, watch this. Adventures again. of Lolo the Penguin is way too fucking high. It is. How did we put it up so high? I don't. We it, it's one of those things like it's very easy to get swept up in the moment when talking about this shit. But also, how the fuck did Adventures of Lola the Penguin get? I think I, I know. It's because we saw some shit get real fucked up. Yeah, we were we were looking those those skips. Those just, skips really helped it. Just I mean, just looking at this list. I mean, obviously, save it's... it, save it for next week. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I think we need to just focus on this one for now. It's, we're, it's we're, hard we're... to it's hard to pinpoint exactly because I don't know. I feel like just being boring. I don't think is enough to land it at nineteen. Yeah, and I, 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 I wasn't there for Sonic Set Am, so I can't speak for that. But I st- I just feel like somewhere between sixteen and uh, sixteen and seventeen is you know what? Kind of where yeah. I'm See, the thing I, is, I actually, will say 17 strictly because it is better than the Super Mario Brothers one by virtue of being shorter. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm thinking actually, like, I, I'm thinking more about this orange tier of stuff because I do feel like that could probably be the good boring range. But uh, like, that's also 
a discussion for another day. I, I will say, bo being boring is an absolute, like, one of the biggest sins a piece of media can commit, because why even watch it then? That is also true. That's that's the thing. Like that's that's why I was ranking it this low, and also the fact that Sonic Saturn is at nineteen. <laughs> uh, that's your Tron. <laughs> that is my Tron. Everyone has their one or multiple. Fucking anyway, I, I I do feel like seventeen is actually a good spot for this. Then, if we're going to take that. a second to just a quick second to appreciate that I was not the first person to bring up Tron. <laughs> this is right. the first time for everything all right I, th I think if i i think we should probably just put it at 17 for now and we'll discuss the the ramifications of that in comparison to other things to next week i shall bite my tongue for the next <laughs> 17 work for me that sounds pretty good it's fine. I've already got my knife ready. I will stab the motherfucker. <laughs> okay, Sonic Christmas Blast. I'll laugh my ass off if we reevaluate Tron and it gets higher somehow. <laughs> I, will, <laughs> I am going to go ahead and say that's not happening. <laughs> I will absolutely lose my shit. I mean, Tron is definitely one that I enjoy. It's not one. It's one that I can definitely see being lower, though, because it's pretty, what? but it's... All I'm saying is if Tron gets higher, somebody's receiving anthrax in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Like a CD. Exactly. Just, just, just it send is me. the greatest curse I could impart upon just you. Just send me some super cocaine and we'll be good. The letter bomb is what you'll get and you'll enjoy it. Will it have nails in it? No, it's glitter. Oh, <laughs> god damn it. What's even the point of the bomb then? It's a bath bomb. <laughs> god damn it. I tried one of those. It really didn't impress me. Yeah, they're, they're I, not that great. I, um, I wouldn't know what they're like because tubs are not built for people my size. <laughs> Let's see. There's no con. All right. Also, uh, baths there, are pointless. Is there anything we want to call out in music, charm, cinematography, storytelling, action, and art? No. Uh, animation is pretty wanna, good, as you said. I want to call out the, the it's animation. It's better, but better. it's not great. And that's yeah, why I wouldn't call it out. It's better than adventures, but it's it's not remarkable. Yeah, that's the thing I was thinking of. It's competent, but it's like it's better than adventures, but adventures was really bad. Being better than shit isn't hard, is all I'm saying. Um, I mean, this this had a low bar to clear, and I think it cleared it and didn't really try to go any higher. So I wouldn't say call out anything. Except that it was short and that works to its benefit. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't even say won't you shut up because Sonic actually didn't say yeah, as he much was, as usual. He was fine. Like he wasn't I would say he wasn't too much of an asshole, but he was just it's just like it was very tame. Yeah. Uh did anyone have anything else you wanted to add? I was looking at the wrong charms guide. Yeah, there's there's no dead man walking in this game <laughs> in this movie. <laughs> Shit. Fuck. Great. Maybe when we do like a DVD teaser in advance, we'll be able to use that. I, I what? Maybe when we do one of those DVD teaser in advance, we will do that. Oh, oh yeah. Like if uh, dead. I don't know if that did. Uh, does that does Death Trap Dungeon have one of those? I don't it's know. Gotta, it's got to have something that's like you do this and then you're screwed later on. I like that for artistry has two charms that don't exist. Oh, that's because I couldn't think of anything. Ah, wait yeah. for for artistry. Are you in the charms? Oh, you're list. looking at the you're looking at the restaurant grabs do once. Oh, would we I'm give looking. it oatmeal? That yes, I can actually. Okay, I mean that yeah. was our very that was our like main contention taste, point with taste that. the budget. What's what's that? Eh, that one's basically if it's like a super low budget and it actually like really affects. The like quality you of the can movie. Feel how low the budget is. Yeah, you can, that's that's. You that can taste the Hanna Barbera. Exactly. Yeah. Don't don't actually. You might get a disease. <laughs> <laughs> You're just going to see the same thing over and over and over again. All the walls will also, be the same. Man, I'm actually disappointed. We can't even give it. Someone's got a fetish. <laughs> right? Can be not. I mean, is robotic not enough for that? I mean, that was that was very very quick. And very tasteful it, ass. Browder it did have an ass. It wasn't in your. 
but it wasn't in your face. Like it wasn't like the other ones where he's bent all the way over and you just get sweet juicy ass. That's just I not mean, there. Yeah, Santa and like Robotnik in fucking hot pants and a crop top isn't a great look. But maybe my fucking experience with the the original adventure series has really tempered what I consider a fetish. <laughs> I mean, the original series was really fetishy. Like, really fetishy. Oh, it was so fetishy. It had a very Tarantino-esque feel to it. In a it lot wasn't of... just feet. It wasn't just feet, but feet were very predominant. It was the predominant fetish. You say that, but we never saw Sonic take his shoes off. I'm <sighs> very ha- thankful for that. I... The pacing on it was off. It wasn't sluggish, but there, the, there is no pacing to this whatsoever. It, it like builds the, up and then it just yeah, ends. Yeah, the fact that it's like, it has to be 20 minutes long, I felt. Um, and it didn't shoehorn in any elements from the game. There was no. just nothing, nothing from the game in this, other than the characters. Yeah. Yeah, there's none of these other charms really fit. Hmm. I, I think we're good with just those two charms. Unless anyone else had any other ideas. What's non-Euclidean existence? Um... I think it was something about things just doesn't make sense. Ah, right. Living living in uh, navigating in impossible spaces. Yeah. No. I, I, th- I think these two are fine. It's it, very it, short and very boring. Yeah. Uh, anyone had any last thoughts? No. All right. No. Well, if that's the case, we're going to put it there. There's Sonic Christmas Blast at 17. So uh, with that, um, before we talk about what we're doing next, uh, X, is there anything you want to plug? Nope. Bob, is there anything you want to plug? Uh, yeah, I would like to plug Hardcore Gaming on One's podcast, Top 47,800 Games of All Time, where we take the games you send us and we rank them in a very scientific and official manner. Check us out at uh, Hardcore Gaming on One and give us some games to rank. Yeah, I was actually on a relatively recent uh, episode talking about Axe Life. We talked a lot about things that were not <laughs> about Axley and various things around Axley, but not actually Axley itself. Much uh, like was, this episode. Yeah, much like it's weird. It's almost like stuff I hear on that <laughs> kind of running theme. Anyway, um, uh, cool. Yeah. Yes, there is the uh, Let's Play group that I'm a part of, Low Bias Gaming at lowbiasgaming.net, as well as uh, Square Wave Symphony, a uh, radio show slash podcast, your home for video games, chip tunes, and all things weird and geeky. And if you're listening to this episode at the time of release, a week's episode is going to be uh, Level Up 2021, which is going to be the best music that has shown up uh, uh, on my show in the year 2020. As right. Level Up Locus, I'm on uh, Twitter. Torpo. Uh, oh, God. Twitch TV slash Torpo Typist at Torpo Typist on Twitter. And I would like to plug the hole left in my heart by the absolute lack of fetishes in this episode. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um, that brings us to what we're t- doing next. So, get the boxing gloves. <laughs> we're going to, since the next episode after this one's going to be the first one of 20, 2021, um, we're going to start fresh and actually do some cleanup on this because we don't have invalidations like we do with Retro and Crabs. So so we got to figure out another way to see where things are at. Um, so our first episode of the year is going to be us taking a look at this list and seeing what needs to be cleaned up. Maybe there are some things that are not quite in the same spot that are the spot that they should be. And maybe there is some kind of ways we could rethink about this, that some of these rankings should be. Um, I will confront my white whale. <laughs> it's gonna get front. messy and violent and beautiful white we'll whale holy grail we will all fight our white whales uh so that'll be it for this episode i hope that next episode will be interesting uh so hopefully you tune in for that one it is never going to fucking you, end you, um, you know <laughs> you know our half hour ranking sessions that we like to have this is going to be the entire episode <laughs> This is going to be hours. It's going to be <laughs> fucking hours. It's going to be the very first three hour long episode of Media Delta. It's going to be longer to than it. most. It's going to be a, a longer than most Retro and Crafts episodes. 
<laughs> All right. Well, with that, um, back at it. Thank- the ranking mods again. Yeah. Thank you all for listening. Bye. Bit. Bye. If you would like to look at the full list of rankings for yourself, please visit r3.ldp.life and go to the Media Delta List tab. If you would like to watch Media Delta's sister show, Retro Rank Rhapsody, you can either watch at youtube.ldp.life or by tuning into twitch.tv slash lowthepuzzlo at 7.30 p.m. on Fridays, 2.30 p.m. on Saturdays, and 1 p.m. on Sundays. All those times are from the Eastern U.S. time zone. If you would like to discuss this episode with the community, you can do so by joining our Discord server, which you can do so by going to discord.ldp.life. Thank you again for listening, and I hope you tune in for our next episode.